We are here in China and it is cold. I did not realize that China got like so cold, like this part of China. So as you can tell, we are super bundled, hats, mitts, scarf. We have like three layers on because our next stop is Australia and we did not want to take our winter coats in our suitcases because that takes up way too much space. <laughs> morning my sunnies snapped right on the side so today we are on a mission to find a new pair because this is my backup pair even though they're cute <laughs> I want to find a second pair that maybe has some like polarized lenses or something like that so we are on a mission to find that today Placement sunglasses for you. So our plans to find in sunglasses were totally foiled. And we did not manage to find anything that I absolutely adored. So we're gonna wait until Sydney. I just wanna mention my overall impressions of China. So far it's been great. We've only been here 72 hours and we're actually leaving. The people have been great. They've been really accommodating. I just had to change my <laughs> tea for something else because I didn't exactly love the last one. Sometimes there's a little bit of language barrier, but for the most part, it's been pretty good and there's always somebody around that maybe speaks a little bit of English. We've had a chance to see the Great Wall of China. We've had a chance to go to Tiananmen Square and the Forbidden City. And we've had the chance to experience some of the cultures in the city. We went to this amazing restaurant last night, which we were so hungry, we totally forgot to take photos of it. The subways were surprisingly easy. A lot of the signs were in English. In the beginning, it was a little bit difficult because it was so large, but there is English letters so that you can figure out where you wanna go and the best way to get there. It is relatively inexpensive and there are screens on some of the platforms that tell you when the next train is arriving, so it's very easy to keep track. We actually took the subway most of our time here. We only ended up taking one taxi, which was a totally interesting experience. 
to say the least. Um, but we are gonna try to take the subway back to the airport today. I am looking forward to it. It will be another experience in itself, lugging our suitcases around on the stairs, but I just like doing it that way. I did find the Lonely Planet books and the website very helpful. Um, we actually used one of their recommended accommodations for Beijing and it has been perfect for us because we haven't really spent that much time in our hotel room. We've pretty much gone there to sleep and eat and that's about it. I really admire the Chinese people for riding their bicycles around in the minus 12 degree weather. I think they're more hardcore than Canadians. <laughs> they don't even have hats or mitts and they're like walking around and it's freezing. I'm so surprised. Um, but there is no snow on the ground, though we were supposed to get some snow, but it didn't end up snowing. It's been very sunny here the entire time, despite the cold, which has been a little bit uplifting. So as long as you're in the sun, it wasn't so bad. The wind can get pretty strong, but we managed to battle that pretty well. We did have windbreaker jackets and everything, because we did hear that that can be an issue sometimes. It is really interesting to see how things really are. I just pictured the streets crazy crowded, and maybe they are in other cities, but here in Beijing, it's really not that bad, and maybe it is a little bit busier in the summer. I don't know if people walk more in the summer, that kind of a thing. But I just like that I got to walk the streets and I didn't feel like it was crowded or anything like that. Um, everyone was just on their own line, on their own way to go somewhere. It's a city really rich with culture and history and I found it very fascinating. I would love to spend a few more days here visiting more museums and things like that. I am going to be posting more pictures and videos to my Instagram, so make sure to check that out. And thank you for watching, so like, subscribe, write a comment, whatever you like to do best. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye!